How customizable are the designs? They're uh, very customizable, actually. A lot of pole barn builders, you'll find, you know, they won't want to do any retaining walls or do anything like that. They won't want to do foundations. They may bring in another crew to do the foundation, but uh, for the most part, they usually won't do that sort of thing. So they'll get you to put in a retaining wall if you need to, and then have a flatter, and then they'll build the building. So for that sort of thing, like we can put in the retaining wall and build the building on it, just like normal we would build post frame on top of that wall. And then as far as other designs, like we can do all sorts of, you know, attached buildings, we can do all sorts of stuff, mezzanines, lofts, interior walls, dividing walls, different slab thickness, height, length, width, different si types of overhang, different styles of overhang, different styles of roof, um, different shapes of roof. Very, very customizable. So if you have an idea, just come to us with it and we will let you know what we can do. Like, for example, some of the roof styles, like, you know, you'll have your traditional gable, that's called gable roof or whatever. But then like some, one we're looking at right now that we're gonna be doing is more like this style. So it's steep here on the front and long in the back. And it's gonna have the doors in this end here. So vehicles can, you know, park out front stuff. There's gonna be very minimal snow falling off of this roof and all the snow and water's gonna go off the back into a ditch and run away from there. The other, you know, way we could do is just the shed roof. So I'd just be, you know, you're, you're taller on the front and longer, lower on the back and you do it like that. It's another good option for putting vehicles in the front. The only thing with that is like on a big building, so your truss will go here. You're going to get really tall. This will get really tall on the front, which is why a lot of times people will opt to do this just to make it so the building doesn't look quite as tall. Because then you can throw like a two and a half, 12 pitch on the back you know, 11, 12 pitch on the front. So it's really steep. And then sometimes what we'll do with this is actually have the, the wall back in here. And then this is your truss, say. So that way you get a bit of an overhang too. You know, you might put a five foot overhang on the front of there. So a couple different options and there's other options beyond that for roofs too, but that's kind of what we see most of the time process from initial consultation to project completion. We're gonna have a phone call with you. On that phone call, we're gonna discuss, you know, the project, what you need it for, you know, what problems it's solving for you, and uh, how we can potentially help you with it. And then we'll actually be able to give you some rough numbers, just ballpark bit of pricing on what it's gonna take what sort of investment you'd be looking at for a project like that. We'll set up an on-site consultation. That's where we're gonna come out and we're actually gonna meet with you and any other parties involved. Take a look at the site, see if we see anything that could potentially be problems or issues with the actual site. We'll actually bring our laptop out there with us and we're gonna design the building right there in 3D. We can change colors, you know, add lean-tos, add interior finish, change the roof like we are talking about, anything like that. And while we're doing that, our program's gonna give you live pricing and it's gonna have everything figured out. Once we've reached something that you're agreeable to, we're gonna go ahead, sign the contract and get a 10% deposit. Once we've done that, that's uh, setting us up to go to the engineer. We're gonna take the plans. They're gonna get kicked out of that program exactly how you designed it with us. The plans will go to the engineer. They're gonna make any tweaks they have to to the engineering portion of it and make sure it's built exactly for your location, can handle the snow, wind, rain loads, all that, occupancy, everything. So then once we get the plans back from the engineer, we'll send you the plans so you'd be able to see them. And we're gonna send it out to apply for the building permit. Once the building permit comes back, then we'll have the pre-construction meeting. We're gonna go over if anything did change, like if some pricing or something changed as well, we're gonna go over that. So that pre-construction meeting just to confirm all the details. Our operations manager, Luke, will be there. He's gonna have a few questions for you and we're gonna make sure everyone's on the same page. At that meeting, we're gonna do a 70% payment. And that 70% payment is gonna set the start date guarantee and the completion. Step seven, build. And then at the end, we'll do the walk around and final 20% do, and then the lifetime warranty starts and three years of uh, annual inspections. 
the annual inspections, we do them because we find stuff that we missed. And you know, people might ask is what sort of options are there for cladding? So typically metal, metal cladding. You could do like siding, hardy, that sort of thing. And then it would have to be a stud wall. We just don't like it as much, but if, you, if that's what you really like, that's what we'll do. But you can see here, we've got multiple colors available for the metal. So there's plenty to choose from. You can usually actually match up pretty close to what your house looks like. Thanks a lot for joining.